Welcome to STEM Professionals. In this video, we will discuss the conceptual equations of chapter 2 from the book James S. Walker. So let's start with the video. So here we are given that you take your dog on a walk to a nearby park. Now while going to park, your dog takes many short trips like chasing squirrels, examine fire hydrants and so on. Now uh, we have to tell that after reaching at the park, does you and your dog have same displacement from home? This is the first part. Now displacement is basically the difference of the final position and the initial position. Now this is the final position and this is the initial position which is same for dog also and for you also. Therefore the displacement will be same. So we can write that displacement is same. Now next they are asking have you and your dog traveled the same distance? Now this would be the answer would be no because the dog has traveled more uh, distance so distance cannot be same for you and your dog. Now here we are given that an astronaut orbits earth in the space shuttle. Now we have to tell that after one complete orbit is the magnitude of displacement is same as the distance traveled. Now here we see that uh, in one complete revolution the final position and the initial position is same so displacement will be zero. But distance is not zero because distance is the total length of the trip. So distance is non-zero and displacement is zero. Therefore the answer is no. The displacement and distance is not same. So here in this question they are asking does a speedometer measures speed or velocity? The answer would be speedometer measures speed. Now to support this statement we can take this example. Now here you can see this car which is traveling in a circular path at constant speed. Now you'll observe that the speedometer maintains the same reading throughout the motion even the velocity is changing. So from this example we can conclude that speedometer measures speed. Now here in this question they are asking for what kind of motion are the instantaneous and average velocities equal. Now a motion with zero acceleration or you could say a straight line motion. with constant speed you can take this uh, example this is a VT graph now uh, suppose the speed of a car is not changing with respect to time so the graph would be something like that and in this motion the instantaneous velocity and the average velocity are equal now here in this question we are given with one statement and the statement is the velocity of an object is zero at a given instant of time. Now for this statement uh, we have to solve these two parts. Case A. Uh, is it possible for an object's acceleration to be zero at this time? Now this is possible. Yes it is possible. Let me take an example. Suppose an object is at rest. So the velocity is zero and the acceleration is also zero. So yes, it is possible. Now next we have uh, case B. Now uh, in the case B they are asking, is it possible for the object's acceleration to be known zero at this time? So let us take an example here. Now suppose you throw this ball in the upward direction and the velocity at the top of its trajectory is zero but the acceleration is downward with a magnitude of 9.81 meter per second square. So yes it is also possible 
that velocity is zero for a given instant of time, but acceleration is known zero. Now here in this question, they're asking, is it possible for an object to have zero average velocity over a given interval of time? Still, the acceleration is not zero for that interval of time. Now let's take an example first to understand, is it possible or not? Now suppose you throw a ball in the upward direction like this, and then after re reaching at the topmost point, it comes back and you catch the ball. So this is the initial position and this is the final position. The, the, both the position are same. Now for this uh, motion, if you see the average velocity, this would be zero because the displacement is zero. But during that motion, uh, acceleration is always there, which is in the downward direction with a magnitude 9.81 meter per second squared so yes it is possible for an object to have zero average velocity over a interval of time yet still be accelerating during the interval so the answer would be yes now here in this question it is given that a person on a trampoline bounces straight upward with an initial speed of 4.5 meter per second now the question is asking that what is the person's speed when she returns to her initial height? Now, uh, when she returns to her initial height, the speed would be same as that of initial, that is 4.5 meter per second. And this concept we have studied when we uh, discussed the topic free fall. Now, if you haven't seen that video, click on the bell icon to see it. Now this is all with this video and in the next video we'll start with the problems and conceptual exercise of chapter 2 in the book James S. Walker.